Hey Scorpio, how are you? Welcome to Karma Light Readings. I'm Alexandra, also known as Karma, and this is going to be for Scorpio Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, April 2022. But as I always tell you guys, energy is fluid. I feel like I'm so repetitive, but I got to tell for the newbies. Um, so my gift works based on where you are at on your spiritual and healing journey in your relationship with God. That is how you can help determine how to resonate with this reading. So some of this may resonate for you in the past it may be current or you may start to see I'm um, shedding you may start to see some of this um, manifest anywhere between the next three months depending on where you are at and how you are doing with your healing journey so kudos to all of you much love to all of you we're gonna go ahead and get started with my blessing and my prayer if at any time this reading does resonate with you Scorpio please go ahead and hit that like button so that we can have that exchange of energy um, if you're interested in a personal reading there are links in the description box below and the first three will take you to my Etsy page and that will show you reviews from other clients as well to kind of give you an idea. So we're going to go ahead and get started my blessing and prayer and see what messages the Holy Spirit has for you today. Mother, Father, God, Divine Holy Spirit of the Most High. Thank you for allowing me to be a clear channel of receiving messages for Scorpio in regards to their current life situation, soul journey, and soul path. I ask that these messages provide clarity, guidance, healing, and understanding, as well as a higher knowledge and perception into what generational curses, karmic cycles, and soul lessons Scorpio may currently be going through, about to go through, need to become aware of, learn from, heal from, and release. Lord, in all that you are and all that you do, and all that I am, and all that I do, I live by your word and your word only. In Yeshua's name I pray, amen. So I'm just getting some spiritual messages of guidance here for you, Scorpio. I don't, um, I usually get some energy in the beginning here. Um, and I'll tell you what I'm feeling for you guys. It's kind of how I do my thing. I feel like you guys are in a void right now because what spirit is giving me is just a like you're just ready I feel like you don't want to have any expectations on anything you're just like that this is where I'm at whatever it is whether it's good or bad spirit is just showing me that you're in this space of recognizing that okay um, like surrender Okay, you may be working on your thoughts, the way you communicate in your speech or the things that you have put out into the universe and what's coming back to you because you have two blue cards here, throat chakra. Okay, so the first card out is um, 2 Corinthians 4.17. Our light and momentary troubles are achieving for us in eternal glory that far outweighs them all. And on the back you have every tomorrow has two handles. We can take hold of it with the handle of anxiety or the handle of faith. And then you have Hebrews 6:19. We have this hope as an anchor for the soul, firm and secure. And on the back we have God will not permit any troubles to come upon us unless he has a specific plan by which great blessing can come out of the difficulty. Something has been made clear to you. Something has been illuminated for you. There's a truth. There's a vision. There's a belief. There's a perception. There's something. Like I said, you may have just recently come out of a really difficult time. Or if you're st still currently in this difficult time, you are also at a space in your life, Scorpio, where I feel like you recognize, I'm just going to wait right here. I'm just going to be right here and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to figure out what I'm supposed to do. Okay, um, there were some difficult situations here that were causing you to fluctuate between anxiety and feeling stable, anxiety and feeling stable. There is a need for you to not allow yourself to get caught up in the anxiety. I feel like you, whatever has been illuminated here, like you, it says we have this hope as an anchor for the soul, firm and secure. There's something that you're holding on to. There's something here 
um, that brings you a lot of, it's brought in you a lot of light. It's illuminated something for you. And I feel like that's why you don't want to let it go. I also feel like Scorpio, you're going through a period here where you're finding a lot of success by releasing yourself from the stress, by trying to find the sweetness in a situation, by trying to find the light in a situation or the happiness. Yeah, there's something that you want. There's something that you're trying to create out of your pain. There's something that you want to come out of this pain. see I'm gonna shovel again that was the devil that was trying to come out so you may be dealing I feel like this is just you coming out of karmic cycles or learning how to close really difficult um patterns here or feeling bonded to something okay so you have the knight of cups as the current energy of a situation in the past you have the star Your current energy is the King of Swords. Definitely something to do with your throat chakra. I saw that here. You know, you have those two blue cards here. Um, outside energy is the Nine of Cups. Your challenge is the Empress. Next steps of action is the Wheel of Fortune. And the outcome is the Ten of Wands. On the bottom of the deck, you have the Hanged Man. Yeah, you're in that space. You're in a pause. Um, you're you're waiting to become illuminated and enlightened if you haven't yet. But the overall energy of this is letting me know that there's some major transformation going on here for you. You have the Two of Swords and the Six of Cups. You are needing to make a decision. There's something to do with somebody from the past or something that you keep reminiscing about or a soulmate here that you're wanting things. There there needs to, there's something here with deception. The seven of swords, the two of swords, the nine of swords. Let's see if we can get into this a little bit more here. Current energy of the situation of your life situation. Again, this is mutual energy is a knight of cups. There's a need, a want to express love but there seems to be some type of film over this love that wants to be expressed you can call it a veil i guess but it feels scummy to me okay it feels scummy it feels filmy um love is not always beautiful i just want to say that sometimes love is very ugly Sometimes love is very ugly. Um, it's what you do through that filmy time, that ugly time that makes it worth it. Okay. We have the Knight of Cups. Please clarify the Knight of Cups. I feel like there's a message of love that wants to be relayed here. But there's also this level of like, I can't do it. Yeah. Wow. And then there's the devil with the Ace of Coins. There's a message, an, an offer, there's a new opportunity or a new beginning, something that has to do with financial stability, moving, living with somebody, but making an offer on an, a bright future, okay? Making an offer on a bright future. However, yeah, what is up with this devil that keeps showing up with the love? The devil tried to come out before too. It could just be that there was either karmic energy or baggage that was getting in the way of a particular situation in your life, okay? And that's what you're needing to heal from this or release yourself from this. Everything in your love life or in your life, Scorpio, may have been temporarily paused because this devil needed to be the darkness needed to be pulled out from within you or another person. There were just things that needed to be addressed before this could get to where you want it to go to. All right. You have the star as the recent past. So there was a clearing of the air. There was an opportunity here that was presented by the divine, by God. It seems as though he stepped in to provide some type of 
clarity, insight. This was somebody's wish. Again, this is mutual energy because it's from the past. Um, there was somebody's wish or prayer. Somebody's prayer to the divine was for clarity in regards to this situation between you and them, or it could have even been you. And the divine gave an opportunity for clarity here, but see, there's still a little bit of darkness. So I feel like it wasn't utilized properly, this opportunity. That's probably why we have um, the throat chakra as well. There we go. The hermit. It's like I said, <laughs> king of cups. There was, see the hermit? And then, the, so it's like there was this opportunity to clear the air, to discuss something, or there was an opportunity presented to see something clearly, but somebody chose to just keep it inside. Again, a lot, a lot of healing taking place. Something was illuminated within yourself. May have to do, Scorpio, with your emotions and where you were blocking, where you were blocking a, a love or a truth or your real feelings, Okay. So in the recent past, this is divine healing. This is God stepping in and saying, I need to redirect your focus on something. I also feel, again, somebody prayed for this shift. Somebody was praying for this healing and for this shift to take, to take place. All right. Your energy is coming through as the king of swords currently. I feel like you're in a space, Scorpio, where you're just really trying to be calm, centered, diplomatic, logical. You're trying to remove emotions from a situation so that you can make a proper decision. There's a lot, a lot of truth here that wants to come out. Clarify the King of Swords, please, for Scorpio's current energy. The Tower. And the Queen of Cups. Wow. Wow. I keep hearing like um, reversed or inside out. Something, something. There was an awakening here, this tower moment. There was a truth revealed or there was some type of wisdom bestowed upon you. This is pretty deep, Scorpio. But something came into your life recently that just kind of, it, well, not kind of, it shook everything up. Your current energy right now may be with this tower and the king of swords is seeing the truth in something, that illumination, clarity, and it's shocking you. The, the truth is shocking you. Clarify the king of swords and the tower, please. Clarify the king of swords and the tower. Clarify the king of swords and the tower. The knight of coins there is something coming to you or there's some some type of message that you want to give out to somebody or something that you were unaware of it has to do with a, an offer a message a truth a commitment this is a piece of information that shook your life shook everything to the core or it will shake everything to the core and i feel like you're trying to find the truth of it here yeah five of coins um this was not something easy. This is something that's left you feeling very left out, feeling very abandoned. It may have had to do with the third party or there could have been fears about a third party here, but there's something that had you feeling in the dark. That's why you have the um, star and the hermit. So you're coming out of this dark period now. Dark night of the soul, perhaps, learning how to fight through your, your troubles. The outside energy is the nine of cups. Something that you've prayed and wished for is here. Okay, that's the energy around you is wish fulfillment. Um, I would be careful with this nine of cups energy, though, because sometimes the nine of cups can be lazy as well. It's kind of like someone just sitting around waiting for something. Holy Spirit, please clarify the nine of cups. Please clarify the nine of cups. Wow, you got two cards. Wow. You have the three of swords, the five of coins, and then on the bottom, the four of wands, the world, and the ten of swords. Wow. This outside energy, you're going to have to, re I can already tell that for some of you, this is a past energy, and for some of you, this is current. There was something, 
or is something that is your wish fulfillment, um, something that you've prayed for, but it brought you or will bring you or has currently put you in a situation of pain. There's a lot of pain that's coming with this wish fulfillment, this answered prayer. Heartbreak, betrayal, working through deep abandonment wounds, feeling left out. This is ghosting. This is, this is everything that you don't want to happen in a relationship. There was a lack of spiritual growth. There was an unbalance or a lack of somebody having a connection with the divine here. And it was causing a plethora of issues here. I feel like it ended a commitment. There was betrayal in a commitment here. And somebody is seeing something from a higher perception because of this pain. This was a soulmate connection. You have the two of cups here. Possible twin flame connection here. Yeah. Could be with an earth sign as well. You have the queen of pentacles. So this outside energy is very interesting. I feel like it's mutual. I feel like you and this person view each other as your wish and dream come true. But again, going back to the Knight of Cups, there's something that prevents you guys from, there's like a veil, a film that is causing friction in this particular connection. Your challenge has been the Empress manifesting this, building this, creating this, um, Allowing something to grow, allowing something to flourish, allowing something to build. There's been an inability to get something to to become something. Clarify the Empress, please. Clarify the Empress, please. There may have been some type of, um, you have the three of cups. So yeah, it's like getting something started, getting something connected, meeting with each other, seeing each other eye to eye. Um, there also the challenge could be that there was more than one person involved at one point in time. Clarify the Empress please with the three of cups. So it's like nothing, nothing can start to flourish or grow or build in a life when there's an uneven right amount taking place clarify the empress please in the three of cups for the challenge why is this showing up as a challenge yeah the six of wands so there was a lot of pride and ego in the way here in a connection i do feel like there may have been somebody um who yeah, there was betrayal here. There definitely could have been some type of third party interference. You also have the queen of swords. I, look at that. Can't see the truth, right? Like there was something that wasn't being expressed here, but it was causing a feeling of betrayal. The next steps of action, you have the wheel of fortune and the 10 of wands. This is a decision between fate and destiny. Things are moving in a direction where you have the choice. The Ten of Wands is the ending of a cycle, closing something out, closing out a karmic cycle with this Wheel of Fortune, letting go of any burdens, not allowing yourself to bring any baggage or bring the past with you. Something that was not for, and that's what I'm seeing. It's like, you want to release yourself. You're illuminated to what needs to be released and what you no longer need to hold on to here. Clarify the Wheel of Fortune, please, with the Ten of Wands. Clarify the Wheel of Fortune, please, and the Ten of Wands. You have a, a, a decision to make. You have a decision to make. That's why you're in the hanged. This devil just keeps coming back. This devil just keeps coming back. There is something that is keeping you stuck that has either already or will be illuminated to you. You are playing tug of war. I feel like you're trying to bring something to fruition or you're trying to pull something to you because this makes me think of the... Um, 
Hebrews 6, 19, Scorpio, where it's like, you know, we have this hope as an anchor. So it's like, I feel like you're trying to pull that anchor, whatever that anchor is towards you. Wherever your heart lies, that's what you're trying to get closer to. You're trying to pull something up because you want it to be closer to you. So it's like you're trying to get rid of this burden. You're trying to close out a cycle so that you can find what it is you've been looking for and align yourself with this success and this, this sweetness. But this devil just keeps popping up. Closing messages, please, for the hanged man for Scorpio. Clarify the hanged man, please. That devil is karma. That devil is past traumas and wounds that, you know, you just need to let go of Scorpio and not allow them to come with you. You have two cards for the hanged man. It's the fountain and the king of wands. And on the bottom, it's the ace, ace of swords and the queen of pentacles. So again, this queen of pentacles coming forward and then judgment. There's something that you can't e e escape. Maybe that's what this anchor is and this pulling on this three of wands. There's something that you're trying to manifest, that you're trying to pull into your life, that you're trying to create into your life here. But it's it, you have to take action on something. You're waiting for a judgment. You're waiting for a final decision. You're waiting to take action on something until you see or feel the green light here with the fountain and the king of wands. Yeah, you're really determined. You're really, really determined here. I, I'm, I don't feel like spirit is gonna give me a full answer. We'll see next week maybe if it will come through, but there's something that you're trying to create. There's something that you want and you're very, very determined, but the devil is going to keep trying to get in between you and this particular situation until you make the decision to drop it. Until you make the decision to drop that devil, to drop those burdens. That's why we have the hermit and um, the star. There was something that was brought to your attention or that is going to be illuminated to you very soon. That is your cue and that's how you get to your success. That's how you get out of this, this dark period. All right, Scorpio, I'm sending you much love.